How many of you want to know how to clean full mouth dental implants? How many of you know that if you clean your full mouth dental implants effectively, you can increase the chances of their survival for more than 10 times? How many of you know that toothbrushing is just one technique? There are two more additional techniques of cleaning your full mouth dental implants. Yes, my friend, I, Dr. Mayur Kherna from Precision Dental World, your full mouth implant specialist. Today, in this video, I'm going to cover three different techniques by which you can clean your full mouth implants effectively and increase your success 10 times. So, apart from tooth brushing, there is two more techniques. The one which is called oral irrigation in which a water jet goes into the junction of tooth prosthesis and your gums and that way it you can achieve an effective cleaning. The second technique which is called interdental brush using where there is a spaces between your teeth prosthesis and the gums. These brushes are of minute brushes this goes in these spaces and clean the area and definitely the third one which you all are aware about which is tooth brushing. The tooth brushing in normal patient is definitely different from an implant patient. I'm going to explain you which toothbrush to be used, which toothpaste to be used and which toothbrushing technique to be used specifically for full mouth implants. So stay connected with us now. Before I start, I would like to explain you the difference between a natural teeth and a full mouth dental implant process. But which you can easily clearly see in above the picture that is all natural teeth. These are all single teeth. So they have a crown which you can see in the mouth and a root which is embedded into the jawbone. So this is a natural teeth. So cleaning for natural teeth is totally different. Whereas a cleaning for a full mouth implant which you can see next to me is totally different because these are number of three or four or six implants that are over that a full arch prosthesis is fixed up. So it's not a single single tooth. That's why the cleaning for full mouth implants is definitely different and everybody who wants to go for this kind of a treatment or have received this treatment should know this. I would also like to let you know different scenarios of teeth prosthesis. So the scenario number one which is like this which is called which we call FP1 prosthesis. In this if you can see the only white teeth is replaced there is no gum replacement. So this is the situations where the patient is having definitely good bone there is no severe bone loss and then we get replaced it. So I am going to explain the cleaning for FP1 prosthesis. There is something called FP2 prosthesis where a part of a gum is also replaced. So, especially I have kept this case because if you see, because of massive bone loss, there is some shrinkage of the gums which has happened and now there is a self cleansable spaces. Now, it's very easy to maintain with the technique which I am going to explain. If the patient don't know this technique, then there will be some kind of food lodgement. The third prosthesis which I am going to explain is this. That is FP3 prosthesis. FP3 means there is not only teeth loss, there is also lot of gum loss, lot of gum loss. So if you can see here, the teeth as well as pink color gums is also replaced. So this is three scenarios which I am going to explain you in this video with, with these three types of oral hygiene measures. So let's start with the water flosser. It's basically a water jet which comes out of this machine and it focuses the junction of your teeth and gums. So if you see there are two different types of flosser, one is a manual flosser and one is a battery operated flosser. So manual flosser is something where you don't have to do any maintenance. Now this is something flosser which we call easy flosser and the name suggests easy means there is no maintenance. You just have to fill the water and use it. So red, this blue pump can be used for pumping the water out of this. There is something called battery operator where you have to keep it charging on a regular basis and after that a water jet comes out and then this water jet, it has some forces like medium, normal and uh, you know very hard forces by which the water jet comes out. So sometimes it is not so easy for every patient to handle a battery operated. Plus you have to keep charging your battery. So these are two different types of oral flosses which you have and I am going to explain you both the ways how we can achieve a cleaning. So this is a basically a chargeable oral irrigator. Uh, there are different types of oral irrigators you can have a best one is a water pick so if you see this there you have to just fill up the water into the tank of this oral irrigator a clean water then you have to insert the tip of the irrigator into that now this is also an eject button by which you can just take out the tips that's more important once you insert the tip there this is a button by which you can start 
and select the pressure no it could be low medium or high pressure so we have a sensitive one they can keep low pressure and then you place in the mouth and press the button once you press the button the water jet goes out and it will go and target your junction of your teeth and the gums the water jet will goes out and it will hit your junction of your teeth and the gums because sometimes these areas is not so easily cleansable with your toothbrush so water jet will definitely helps to remove the plaque from the area of the junction of your teeth and the gums so i'm going to show you how exactly we do it so this is a uh, fp1 prosthesis a water jet is exactly concentrating on the junction of your teeth and your gums and it is focusing on all the front side from most right side teeth to the most left side side same way it has to be done inside as well so now we will show you this thing with the oral irrigator the forces with a manual oral irrigator is with your hand you know within your hand so uh, this is exactly fp3 processes and we are focusing the area between your gums and it is in your hand uh, i would say the forces with a manual oral irrigator is with your hand you know within your hand so uh, this is exactly fp3 processes and we are focusing the area between your gums and your teeth and that's where the cleaning is happening you can see perfectly how exactly the water is going and it's cleaning your gums and the teeth we are cleaning the inner part of the upper teeth with the help of oral flosser so no plaque is retained inside and it can be easily cleaned off and you can that's how so this is about fp2 process i told you a lot of spaces are there in the upper where sometimes the food may get lost so it is very very easy to clean such area with the help of an oral irrigator and definitely that will improve your implant survival rate because your cleaning will be great so see here this is a manual oral irrigator i always prefer to my patients we have done a lot of studies where we have assessed which irrigator was best for the patients where they say charging that is automatic irrigators they use it for 5 10 days and after that it is gone they always prefer to have a manual oral irrigator and uh, this is something which has been proven the manual irrigator is tends to give you more more better comfort now this is a manual irrigator where a patient is using uh, this very simple straight forward it is in your hand so that the water don't sometimes sip off in your nose or it goes don't goes out and it's very handy for maintenance it has absolutely no maintenance so if you can see the patient is properly doing it and then spitting it out well now coming to the second aspect of cleaning is nothing but interdental brushes you can see there are three different types of interdental brushes the first one is a thermosil we have colgate also have it there are different companies of course you can try anybody any companies uh the thermosil have a narrow space as well as wide space uh, brushes interdental brushes whereas colgate has a one uniform size so let yeah now see now let's see how exactly the interdental brushes can be used suppose the space is very narrow and you are using wide space interdental brush it's not recommended so always use a narrow space interdental space brush when you have a narrow space bend it not from the tip but bend it at the level of the soft you know plastic so it also works with implants it in between the implants if the the vendor uh, there is a space we can use if you can see this an fp3 process there is a space between the upper lower teeth and the gums so it is easily helping you to clean the spaces easily so the so that the under surface of the teeth remain very plaque free and that gives you a much better option now these are uh, usually a self maintainable spaces we usually we give in scenarios where the lot of bone resorption is happening whereas in fp1 type of process which i mentioned in the one where there is no gum loss in that situation we never never give the spaces now this spaces is majorly in the region where your smile is not coming but for maintenance this is very much required and that's where we recommend interdental brushes so i hope you are clear with the interdental brushes now let me take you to which toothbrush which toothpaste and which brushing technique so so very common questions uh, from from a patients is shall we use hard bristles toothbrush or soft bristles toothbrush our recommendation to all the patients is always go for a soft bristles toothbrush because soft bristles are kind of an 
premium quality of a toothbrushes and they don't abrade your teeth or your artificial teeth or prosthesis which I would say after receiving a full mouth implant. So soft bristles is the best kind of a toothbrushes. You can use any companies, Oral-B or Colgate. You are supposed to change your toothbrush in 30 to 60 days maximum. Once the toothbrushes, bristles flared off, definitely it's a good time to change your toothbrush. That's more important. Secondly, yeah, very common questions. Shall we use an electric toothbrush or shall we use a manual toothbrush? Now, the question is, it depends. Electric toothbrush works well when you have your own natural teeth. Manual toothbrush works well when you are giving an immediate loading solution. That means when you receive a fixed teeth immediately in 3 to 5 days, we always recommend for 1 year you can use a manual toothbrush. After everything is settled off, in after 1 year you can switch to electric toothbrush. That's also fine. But not electric toothbrush immediately after receiving the full mouth dental implants. At least 1 year we recommend manual toothbrush. Because electric toothbrush creates a huge amount of vibrations which is not actually good for dental implants although there are no scientific evidences that it can damage the dental implants but because we know that it is definitely going to create a lot of vibration so we recommend prefer to use it after one year now coming to the toothpaste we already know that toothpaste there are two types one is abrasive toothpaste and one is a gel type of a toothpaste which you must be knowing abrasive toothpaste are commonly like a white color toothpaste so we always recommend never never go for an abrasive toothpaste always go a gel kind of a toothpaste if you're having a full mouth dental implants why because gel toothpaste don't have abrasive so it doesn't create any kind of micro scratches on your implant prosthesis or teeth because of just toothpaste yeah so better to go with a gel type of a toothpaste. So I hope you're clear now with the toothbrush, with a type of a toothpaste we have to use. Now let me explain you the technique by which you, know, you can do a full mouth implant cleaning with the help of a brushing. So this is nothing but a modified bass technique where a toothbrush is directed towards the junction of your teeth and the gums. So see, it is hold at 45 degree and a round motions is done and then a sweeping motion from up to down is doing, has been done. The same way it is done on outer side of your teeth as well as on the inner side of your teeth. Well, you can see here again, it is hold at 45 degree which is directed towards your junction of your teeth and the gums and then it is moved back and forth and then swiping motion above as well as your achieving surface is also clean the regularly the way you are cleaning but this is very important now i'll show you an fp1 prosthesis see the bristles are directed at the junction of your teeth and the gums and then it is moved up back and forth and then it is moved down so that's very important that's how a cleaning should happen when it is a full mouth implant because more important in full mouth implants is you have to eliminate the plaque at the junction of your teeth and the gums thereby you can increase the higher survival rate of a, any dental implant so for the inner side you can see you can use the back end of the two bristles and you can clean it perfectly you can see how exactly it has been done on inside outside and how you are targeting your tooth gum junction so this will give you a clear insight you can watch the video same way it is done on the right hand side of the patients now same way so you'll get a more more idea about this and the toothbrushing if you say shall we do one of this no i would suggest all the three are important the toothbrushing and oral irrigating is the most important interdental brush Yes, it is important if you have a lot of spacing where the interdental brush can go inside. I hope you got this idea. I'm going to show you the same toothbrushing technique with now FP3 prosthesis. You can use a circular motion initially just to clean the tooth surface. That's fine. But then you have to clean also the tooth gum junction and that's where you will target your toothbrush at 45 degree. Swipe it front and back, front and back and then move up. So front and back, front and back and then move up. That's more important because that's why you're taking out the plaque at the junction of tooth gum junction and then you're eliminating and improving the oral hygiene condition of the patient. Now inside also you have to use the back end of the bristles as I've mentioned you and that's how you have to supposed to do on every aspect of the prosthesis. I hope you are very clear now which oral hygiene aids should be used for improving your hygiene measures 
for full mouth implant treatment and you got a clear idea how to clean full mouth implants so we have oral irrigator which is manual which is an easy oral irrigator there is something called automatic oral irrigator it's also called water pick you can search it on the net the price definitely manual irrigator is quite economical than the automatic then we have interdental brushes it is used only when there is a significant spaces where the toothbrush can go when there is no space definitely you are not supposed to use interdental brushes but oral irrigator should be used the third one which we have is a toothbrush you should use a soft bristle toothbrush preferably a manual toothbrush instead of using a automatic toothbrush if you want to use automatic toothbrush use it after one year of receiving a full mouth implants and the another thing you are supposed to use a gel kind of a toothbrush not an abrasive toothbrush and that will really have a great impact in your oral hygiene cleaning i hope this video has given you a great value by which you can apply this technique for your maintenance oral hygiene maintenance if you have any doubts please put a comment below and whatever is our team will definitely help you to resolve if you want us to make a video on any particular topic please put down into the comment and we will help you with that particularly and if you like this video please share it with those who have already gone full mouth implant treatment or who are willing to go for a full mouth implant treatment please recommend them to visit our link of success stories of more than 100 full mouth implant patients link and you'll get a more and more insight and more value about the treatment the patient review and the patient testimonial how are they feeling right now after getting fixed teeth also if you have any doubt you can connect on our helpline number which is mentioned below and our team will definitely help you to resolve all your dental problems so thank you so much stay connected with us we will see you in our next video till then jai hind jai bharat